Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a new website that I just discovered a short while ago. It's still a fledgling website, but it's going to help you to create bulk mock-ups of your designs in less than a few seconds. It's really amazing and it's really going to cut down the amount of time that you spend generating mock-ups to drive traffic to your print-on-demand business. So with that said, let's head over to my computer now and get started with today's tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And as you can see, we are on the homepage of this amazing website that I was telling you about in the intro. The name of this website is mockupgenerator.co. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below so that you'll be able to be able to click on it and access it. It'll either be in the description or in the pinned comment section down below. And basically, as you can see, it's a really user-friendly interface. So basically, we've got a section over here where you can either click to be able to navigate to the folder where your image has been saved, or you can actually drag the image into the square and obviously the website will upload accordingly. Now, at the moment, there are only mockups for posters. As you can see here, posters is in orange here, it's clickable, but as you can see here, there are quite a number of them that you can actually utilize. And all you have to do is upload your design once and it will superimpose your design on all of these mockups so that you'll be able to download them in no time flat and use them on your social media accounts or to use them on platforms like Etsy or any other website that you might have, an e-commerce website that you are utilizing to try and drive traffic to, to gain more sales. In the future, as you can see, we've got a section for apparel. As you can see, as I navigated my mouse pointer over it, it says coming soon. And then there's one pertaining to stores. Not really certain what that is going to refer to, but at any rate, it's still something to look forward to. And the best thing of it all is that this website is absolutely free to use. Okay, so before we tackle these other tools over here, we have to actually upload our design. So what I did was I just found um, a very basic design off of the internet. Um, wasn't created by myself. I just took a screenshot of it just to use it for this particular example. Okay, and as you can see here, we now have the image. It's an inspirational quote. The harder you work, the better you get. Okay, so let's take a look at the tools here. We've got scale mode, which is set to auto. You've got your horizontal alignment. You get center, left and right, which is basically standard. You also have your vertical alignment, which is obviously going to be top, center and bottom. You can also put a bit of padding. So if you have a design that's either text heavy or maybe even in terms of the types of graphics that you want, if you don't want it to be cut off along the border of the poster, you can increase the padding so that it will automatically shrink it down and put more room along the perimeter of your design so that it's not cut off or it's not hidden by the border of the posters. You can also click on the border color. As you can see by default, it's set to white, but if you click on it, you have one of three options. You can either choose a color from the color palette over here simply by clicking anywhere on it, or you can obviously click this handlebar here and obviously adjust the colors depending on what it is you want. Okay, so the third tool in the background color segment is obviously being more specific in terms of your color selection. Now by default, we're set to RGB, okay, which is red, green, and blue. But you also have these two little arrows here that if you click on them, you can actually scroll through the different types of color configurations. In this particular case is HSL. You can even toggle it to the hex code. So if you know the hex code, you can just copy it and paste it over here. Alternatively, if you don't know what the hex code or the RGB or any of the other formats in terms of their code numbers, you can just click on the eyedrop tool here and then you just navigate the mouse pointer to your design. And let's say, for example, I don't know, I want to use this orange. I'm just going to click on that and boom, we get the hex color code right down in the bottom. And we can just obviously click out and the background color has been set to that coral type color. Okay, so let's assume for a moment that we want to have, you know, that predominant yellow color as our background, just in case we need to leave a bit of padding. We're just going to hit the eyedropper tool again, and then we're just going to navigate our mouse pointer anywhere onto the yellow click. And then obviously that yellow has now been put um, as the background color for us to utilize. The final tool is the texture. Okay, by default, it's set to paper, but if we click on the drop down arrow, we can just select no texture or paper, okay? So those are basically your options. Again, like I said, it's still in its infancy. I don't know if they're gonna to continue to develop it. There's a good possibility that they will. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain by bookmarking this website. 
Okay, so now once we've actually played around with some of these tools, the next thing that we want to do is click on Generate Mockups. So we're going to click on that. As you can see, there are 24 of these mockups in this particular batch. And as you can see, it's queuing them up, it's working, it takes a few seconds, it really doesn't take that long when you consider how much time it would actually take you to actually physically do each of these mockups on a platform like Canva or Photopea or Photoshop. And you know, within a few seconds, as you can see here, we have the design up on all of the mockups here, and we can just scroll through them. And obviously, if we're happy with what we've got, we're just gonna click on download. But before we get to that, we do have to note that some of them aren't always going to fit brilliantly depending on the size of the mockup. What we can do is we can increase the padding. So let's say we just take the padding up to 10%. Whenever you make a change on any of the tools, you have to regenerate the mockups. It's understandable the system has to obviously take the changes that you've keyed in and obviously make the modifications. So we're going to click on generate mockups and see what kind of effect that's going to have on the design. You may or you may not use all of the mockups that obviously this particular platform has to offer. Some designs are going to work on certain mockups. Others won't. That's just the name of the game. But at the end of the day, we are saving ourselves a ton of time simply because of the fact that we are using this particular website. Now, if we take a look here, the fact that I increased the padding to 10% has already significantly improved the mockups that were, you know, the posters were either in landscape format, as was the case over here, or even in terms of the square poster size. So you want to play around with it. Don't take it, you know, as a given that your design, when you upload it to this website, as is, is going to be the end all and best for all of the mockups. That's not going to be the case. You will have to play around with some of these tools but it's really easy to, to navigate. It's very, very user friendly. Now, before I actually download all of these mockups, what you wanna do is you wanna choose your image format. Now, in terms of image format, you've got JPEG, PNG, and WebP. So based on how you're going to be using these mockups, you wanna choose the appropriate image format for your needs. Understandably, the PNG file format is gonna be a lot larger than the other two image formats. So you definitely want to decide which of these formats you want to download. And then what you can do is you can change the file name. So let's just say we want, I don't know, we'll call it Work Inspiration, okay? And it is going to download the entire batch of mockups in a zip file. So we're just going to click on Download. And in a few moments time, you can see here, we've got our zip file downloaded and I just have it off the off screen here. So I'm gonna unzip it into a folder and bring it onto the screen right now. Okay, and as you can see here, I'm just gonna choose the view and I'm going to enlarge them. And we've got 24 beautiful mockups that we can use for our social media posting for basically anywhere that we want to put a mock-up to drive traffic to our respective print-on-demand platforms, online businesses. So as you can see, everybody, it doesn't take that long to create some amazing mock-ups for your designs to drive traffic to your print-on-demand business. As I showed you, it's still a new website. They're still developing it, but you know, you've got to bookmark it and keep going back to this website from time to time. So when they actually put up the apparel and the stores section for your mock-ups, you'll be able to take advantage of these beautiful mock-ups and drive even more traffic to your print-on-demand business without a lot of effort. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button in appreciation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to do so. If you are interested in taking your print-on-demand business to the next level and learning how to generate more sales, please consider clicking on one of the two video thumbnails that have appeared on your screen now. I'll see you there. Thanks again.